It's Good Friday. And the painting I chose to show you today is called The Lance by Peter Paul Rubens. When I first saw this painting, it affected me quite deeply. It's not an easy painting to see. And it just made me realise that a lot of the crucifixion pictures that I am used to are of three neat hills, three crosses with three men on them, and it's all very neat and very tidy. But crucifixion wasn't like that. Crucifixion isn't neat and tidy. Crucifixion was one of the worst forms of death you can have. And Jesus, before he was even crucified, had been through interrogation, beatings, whipping, and then he was made to carry his own cross. That was even before he was nailed to that cross. So I kept coming back to this picture. It disturbed me. It's dark, it's cluttered, and yet it seems to me more real than many other pictures I've seen. As you look at the picture, you have the soldiers. Two are on horses and one is stood on the right. The one on the right is breaking the prisoner's legs to, to encourage death. The one on the left on this horse has got a lance about to pierce Jesus' side. You've got three people mourning to the right hand side. And in the middle, towards the bottom, you can just see two bystanders looking up. And we, the picture, we are so close to the picture that we're actually with those bystanders looking up at Jesus. Jesus was crucified between two prisoners. The one hurled insults at him. He's on the right. But the other prisoner rebuked him and stood up for Jesus saying, we are punished justly and are getting what we deserve but this man has done nothing. That same prisoner, the one on the left, said to Jesus, Remember me, Jesus, when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus answered him, Today you will be with me in paradise. Rubens has got the dark mood within this painting. It's showing the sun covered by a dark cloud and he's also painted it just after Jesus had died so Jesus has just spoken those wonderful words it is finished and the soldiers are breaking the legs of the two thieves but Jesus is already dead Jesus's mission is complete now I'd just like to read from a book I've got written by Sister Wendy Beckett and it's a little bit about this painting and this is what she said. If I were trying to explain this picture to those who have never heard of Christianity I would tell them to regard it as a great meditation upon the meaning of death. It is centred on a depiction of three ways of dying. On the right we have one of the two thieves who was crucified with Christ, the so-called bad thief. He has been called this because he died badly. He died raging against death closed up in himself and his own bitterness and frustration, 
hostile to everyone and aware only of himself. He went screaming into eternity. Please God, none of us die like that. On the left is the good thief. Good because he died trying to do a kindness to another. The good thief spent his last breath saying, out of compassionate concern, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And the dying Jesus raised his head and replied, This day you will be with me in paradise. And the good thief slips happily and sweetly out of life. This is the death we all desire, a death of unselfishness and of peace. I just want to leave you now reflecting on this picture but we're going to play the Easter hymn when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. When I survey the Love demands my